Welcome to our no-nonsense guide to computers, designed to help you find the right product and to make sense of the endless combination of specifications. The first choice you have to make when selecting your new computer is what computer type do I want? Desktop, laptop, netbook or tablet, or ultrabook? This should be shaped by where you are going to use your computer. If you're going to perform all of your computing tasks at home and are happy to have a fixed location, then a desktop computer is for you. Desktops feature much larger screens than other computing devices and can come in slim, all-in-one designs. If you want to work or play on your computer at home but would like the flexibility to move around or occasionally take it with you on your travels, then a laptop will be great for you. Laptops generally have a 15.6-inch screen and have a variety of combinations that will suit all levels of performance and budget. Netbooks are smaller versions of laptops. They are generally 11.6 inches or 10.1 inches. They are extremely portable, but they only offer a basic computing experience and are used mainly for email and internet browsing. Or you could also consider a tablet, which are being increasingly used in the marketplace. Go online or see your catalogue for our range of tablets. If you want an ultra-slim and ultra-portable computer that is essentially a do-it-all and do-it-anywhere machine, then an Ultrabook is for you. Featuring the latest technology and long battery life, they are the ultimate in mobile computing. Once you have decided on the type of computer you're looking for, you'll need to consider what you're going to use it for. Individual tasks place different demands on a computer, and we can segment these tasks into the following groups. Everyday computing that includes simple tasks like word processing, browsing the internet and email. These products would commonly have 2 to 3 gigabytes of RAM and an entry-level processor, like an Intel Celeron or Pentium, or possibly an AMD E-Series. Multimedia and entertainment requires more feature-rich and demanding tasks, like uploading video to YouTube, downloading music, using services like Skype for video calls, and enjoying high-definition content. Laptops that would suit these tasks generally have 4 to 6 gigabytes of RAM and a more advanced processor that can deliver better graphics and handle more complex tasks. With high-performance computers, you are trying to create rather than just consume content. Relevant tasks would be editing photos and video, using design tools, creating music or gaming, all of which require a more powerful processor and a larger memory. These computers will contain the very best in processor, such as the Intel Core i7 or AMD A8, and many will feature separate graphics cards. So to summarize, decide on what type of computer you want, based on where you're going to use it. Decide what you're going to use the computer for, and then select the processor and memory you need to complete the most commonly used tasks. The rule of thumb is the bigger the RAM and the better the processor, the higher the performance of the computer. The only thing left for you to consider is the design and colour and how much information storage you require. You can have anything from 250GB to 1.5TB, depending on how many photos and how much music that you want to keep on your computer. Finally, once you've found the right product for you, please don't forget to protect it with antivirus software from someone like Norton or McAfee. The last thing you want is for your new prized possession to become infected or crash. So that's it. We hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching. Happy shopping.